Yeah, coming, coming. All right, Eric and I got kind of separated, but she's got something next to the boat. Fish on, looks big, looks big. Oh my gosh, I think that's a muskie. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, I'm coming. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There we go, fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Field Trips. My name is Robert Field. If you don't know me, welcome. If you do know me, good to see you again. I am somewhat randomly in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's five in the morning, not quite. And I'm here for a kind of crazy, kind of cool reason. So as you guys know, I helped launch Lightning Kayaks, new brand of pedal drive kayaks we try to make affordable so that anyone can get on the water and enjoy their time on the water. Hopefully go chase some fish. So I'm up here, this I'm near Lightning Kayaks headquarters. My partner Stu up here has been hosting me at his house. Great guy, great family. Well, I am here because Lightning Kayaks sponsored a Minnesota kayak fishing club tournament. And one of the prizes that they asked us to donate was not just a kayak, but also a fishing trip with yours truly, with Robert Field. I thought that was silly. Who wants to go fishing with me? I don't know. But that's what they asked for, and we happily obliged. And so a gal named Erica won a fishing trip with me. So I just flew out a couple days ago, and I am out here about to meet up with her on Lake Rebecca, not too far from Minneapolis. I think we're near Plymouth, I don't even know. We'll ask her, I don't even know where I'm at. But we're gonna get together and we are going to be trying to catch a muskie this morning. The fish to 10,000 casts, I'm not getting my hopes up, but we're gonna do some muskie fishing this morning. And then after that, when the sun gets up, the bite gets tough, we're gonna do some bass fishing. So I had no gear, I'm borrowing gear, Lightning gave us a couple boats, but I think it's gonna go pretty well. It is summertime up here. Fishing is always tough when it's kind of the hottest part of the year. But I think we're going to power through. I think we're going to get on some fish. So I'm going to be there in a few minutes. Going to meet Erica, get the boats rigged up. We are in a hurry. She said this, this sunrise bite is going to be kind of our only chance for muskies. So uh, we're going to be quick at the ramp, get everything thrown on the boats. And I'll see you guys out on the water after that. Hey, Erica. Yeah. Hey, great to meet you. Morning. Should have got here a little earlier. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. We uh, what do you think? It's maybe back down, kind yeah. of just off to the side, and we can just kind of walk them down a little bit. We could probably just back right up there and we'll yeah. launch them. Okay. Man, this looks super fishy. All right, so right here with Erica Blagan. We gonna try to catch a muskie or or bass or anything, quite frankly. So we are out here this early because Erica says if we want a shot at a muskie, this is the time. Early morning bite. We're gonna be throwing some top water. She's let me borrow a big whopper plopper. We got, I got some bigger swim baits. I kind of brought just a hodgepodge of stuff. Frogging is her game, which is rad. She's all about throwing the frog. She's saying uh, we can definitely catch some bass on the frog today. All right, they say big baits, big fish. Reckon this thing qualifies. 10,000 casts, one down. Look at this sunrise, beautiful. So you can get all the tackle we're using today at shopcarls.com, Carl's Bait and Tackle, and if you join Carl's Club, you can get 30% off your entire order. Check it out, link down in the description. Well, that was exciting. I just uh, stopped the swim bait right next to the boat and I was looking over her, we were talking, kind of game planning and uh, looked down and there was a muskie, I think, maybe, I mean, maybe a pike, but she said she's never caught pike in here. But one or the other was sitting there staring at my bait, waiting for me to move it and I, was just not paying attention. But that is a good sign. And this is actually the exact same swim bait I caught my first ever muskie on in New York. Um, it's actually like kind of in bad shape. The hook's kind of rusty, but I was thinking maybe it had some good mojo and there it was. I've only thrown it about a dozen times and I had a follow. It's a good sign. Man, I'm awake now. Let's catch a fish. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm either looking at
looking at a beaver or a giant. Oh, it's a carp. If I had a heart attack, I just watched it come out of the water. Oh, that makes sense. Oh my God. Bigger one. Oh my God. Oh my God. I literally have goosebumps. My heart is spiking. I just had a much, much bigger muskie follow me right to the boat. And I've, I've been figure eighting, but I figure eighted and I think he lost it and he swam off right, right over here somewhere. Oh my goodness. Heart rate took a spike on that one. Good Lord. That was a big fish. All right, you guys. Muskie, the fish of 10,000 casts. I've made way less than that. I just had my second follow of the morning. Oh my gosh, and it was much bigger than the first one. Eric has also had a fish follow her lure right to the boat. So that's something about these muskie. This is, that's kind of what they do. Um, they call it figure eighting when a muskie follows a lure to your boat. You're supposed to kind of swirl the rod tip, swirl that bait back and forth. Uh, essentially, the way I understand it is these fish are following these bait fish a lot of times kind of territorially they're following these fish trying to kind of shoo them out of their territory and so when you kind of stop running away and you start making your bait kind of zigzag they get pissed off and smack it uh, that's one theory i'm not sure if that's accurate i don't know that much about musky other than what i i learned in upstate new york with justin hausner and then what i've learned from watching natty up north's videos but uh good lord that was a big fish and uh, I've got all these kind of crazy flasher giant lures, but I went back to what I was throwing with Justin Hausner on Canisius Lake in New York. Um, pretty subtle pattern actually for muskie. Just kind of a big paddle tail, a little bit of a flasher on it. And honestly, this, this rig's pretty rusted, but I kind of like it. It's making that flasher a little more subtle. So I was thinking, you know, it's, it's slicked out. It's super calm. So no need to get their attention with a bunch of rattles and and flashers and whatever and so far it's working that's two follows which is about two more than i really had hope of having today and that was a big one you but that's three follows between us they're here they are here oh my goodness i think i peed a little Yeah, coming, coming. All right, Eric and I got kind of separated, but she's got something next to the boat. Fish on, looks big, looks big. Oh my gosh, I think that's a muskie. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. I'm coming. She said she wanted to come to this beach area. It looks like it paid off. If she can get it in the boat. Careful. Is it a muskie? Oh God. She had it and it got away from her. Is it a muskie? Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> what did it hit? Nice. Is that your first one? Yep, first one in the kayak. First muskie from a kayak for Erica here. Oh, it's solid too. Oh my gosh, hit the whopper plopper, the smaller one. Yeah! Oh, nice! Careful, careful, look at that. We were kind of about to switch gears. Woo! And there's her first muskie from a kayak. Nice! Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Beauty! There it is. Ready? <laughs> Better back here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, I'm going. Oh my gosh. Nicely done. Oh, great fish. Great fish. Yeah, she might just not know she's free yet. Sometimes they're... Yeah. Let me revive her a little bit. She's definitely... Look at that. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> yeah! yeah. That was awesome. That was a good one too. Yeah. I don't have a measuring tape where I was going to say measure it, but. I have mine, but I want to put it back. It don't even matter. I yeah. It for a while. Oh God. Here we go. Like I'm all fired up. I didn't catch anything. That was, uh, <laughs> that was awesome. Like My to come out. They're soaked. 
<laughs> that's good. That's a good thing. I literally just like cast it out there. I'm just like, ah, da, 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 and then all of a sudden I'm like, where'd my mopper flopper go? Where'd it go? I went like this. I'm like, that's oh! what <laughs> I heard you screaming and I could see it was already next to the boat thrashing and stuff and I was like that's not a bass she'd already have it in that's a muskie nice Thank work you. nice work to come out here go for the fish to 10,000 casts and what time is it I mean like not even almost 10 maybe? yeah yeah 10 in the morning first muskie in the boat look at that you yeah. first one from a kayak too that's awesome that is awesome it's been 20 years since I got one of those. Nice. 20 years. <laughs> I told you I got like beginner's luck with the musky thing. I'm glad you got it. That little whopper popper. Right Look at there. that. I've been throwing the big one. She got a good musky on the smaller one. That is so rad. So rad. On the on top water, no less. Makes it 10 times cooler. You can even smoke it just like. Just slurped it in. Yeah. I think that's like the bigger the fish get, the more like kind of subtle the bite is like the little fish they'll like oh, grab it and run I didn't think I had one on there and then I just use like, oh, <laughs> wait a second I don't hear the plop there it is first muskie from a kayak for Erica here I honestly we I was just telling her I kind of came out here assuming we were going to catch nothing and just have to switch to bass at noon and and do that but there it was way less than 10,000 casts Although I think you've made some before today for them, right? <laughs> Past 20 years counts, right? 20 years, yeah. I'm sure you have made 10,000. How long have you been kayak fishing? This is my first year, actually. First year, nice. Coincidentally enough, got into kayak fishing because I was watching the YouTube videos. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad you won then. That's rad. Because I was kind of worried. When they asked me if I would do that, I was like, sure, but... I was like, I feel like there's a pretty decent chance that someone's gonna win a trip to fish with me that like doesn't give a shit. you know, like so that's cool. It's I'm stoked that it worked out that way. I didn't I didn't realize that and now it's even cooler that you just got your first muskie from a kayak. Yeah, wow, less than a year. There's, I know quite a few people that have been musky fishing from a kayak for years and still haven't got one. No sh All right, Erica's hooked up again. Just got her first muskie in 20 years and now she's hooked up to something big. She said it looks like a pike. pike. Yeah, nice. Is that on the, what was that on the lipless? Yep. Erica's got the hot hand today. He inhaled this thing. It's a great pike. Oh, he did inhale it, choked it down. Man, the muskie wasn't enough. Nope. <laughs> she said, I ain't done. Oh, you got it close now. There you go. See her. Nice. Look at that. Big musky, big pike. Erica's having a day. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> and there he goes. Swam off strong. <laughs> nice. I can't believe it. It's your turn. <laughs> yeah. No, Dad. Keep wearing them out. Erica is getting it done. You said you really haven't fished this lake that much, have you? Second, no, third time I've been out here. Third time she's ever been here. Hadn't caught a muskie in 20 years. Got that done. Now we were actually heading up to go ch check out a different lake, do some bass fishing, and she just stuck a nice pike There's on the way in. That's pike right there. <laughs> New PB, that's two. Was that your biggest muskie? The one biggest muskie and biggest pike. Just knocked off PB muskie and PB pike in what, like 18 minutes maybe apart? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a day. What a day. All right, guys, so we're here at noon. It's scorching hot now. The sun came out. We're sweating. Lovely Miss Jenna Murphy from Lightning Kayaks showed up with food and beers. Gotta have it, gotta she's, love it. she's a real MVP and uh, <laughs> yeah I got some beers to celebrate some good fish from Erica here and then I think we're gonna go to another lake maybe try to stick a few bass see if maybe Rob could catch a fish probably not yeah a little break lunch break I like it I just uh, completely like... did, didn't even think of food this morning you know that's the mom in me see I kind of figured that because that's why I texted you and I'm like hey dude yeah I didn't yeah, hear you... much about food going on last night and I'm like you <laughs> offered it, and I was like... But they're going to be hungry. Yes. Hungry. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Minnesota Cheers. brew? Oh, it's delicious. Really good. 
Surly Furious. Mm -hmm. It's made here in what's it called? Mosquitoes. Look at them. No. They were real bad this morning. Oh yeah, they were. We were getting lifted. Well, away. don't worry. I'm here. They always gravitate toward me. Oh god. I mean, I'm like the mosquito original mosquito magnet. I so. took the bottom of my pants off, and now they're getting me. All right, so we just ran over here about about 10 miles from that lake to another lake that Eric is saying we got a much better shot at catching some bass. So we could have stayed there and sat all day trying to catch me a muskie or get her another one, but it's the middle of the day, it's hot. Everyone there was saying the bite just dies then. So we decided to just call it good. Got her her first muskie in 20 years, got her a nice pike. And uh, now we're gonna come here and just have some fun with some bass. So there aren't any giants here, but we should have a good shot at catching a lot of bass. And it sounds like a lot of them on frogs, which is always a good time. So we're gonna get the boats unloaded, get them launched. All right, so Erica here tells us that uh, the frog bite was on fire here yesterday. We got a frog tied on. We met a couple guys at the ramp. They said a spinner bait was the money, so Erica let me borrow this spinner bait, and I brought some of these Biospawn Exo Swims. Got a big trailer on there, try to catch a pike on that. And then I've got Old Faithful, the Wacky Senko tied on, just because it never fails me. And I think between all three, we about to catch some fish. Look at this, Scal is doing it right. Got the clamp on umbrella. I'm over here sweating and burning like an idiot. She's riding in style. And that's a DIY project everyone should know. That is money. Notice she didn't bring one for the whole class. <laughs> <laughs> about to get on that wacky game. Yep, there we go. <laughs> what I say, what I say. First cast with the wacky, what I tell you. What'd I tell you? <laughs> and there we go. Just talking about uh, old faithful the wacky here. And there it is, first cast. Boom, little bass. Click the bullseye, submit this guy in the angler app. Beauty. Bye buddy. One for one. What'd I say? Second cast, second fish. I just promised Eric I was gonna go three for three. That's two for two, assuming I can land this guy. It just, it just never fails, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's about the same size. White Wacky Senko, folks. Go stock up. All it does is catch fish. Just feels good to be catching fish. You've been catching them all morning. See you, buddy. I oh, just saw two more. I'm about to make it three. Now the pressure's on, though. I really gotta pick my next cast. I gotta pick my spot. Three for three. He's sitting right there. Yep, number three. And number three here on the Senko, all about the same size. Oh, and he choked it. Got these new pliers from Gerber. Loving these things. Nicest pliers I've ever owned by a long shot. This guy inhaled this. Number three, go ahead and hit the angler bullseye. Mark that guy in the apps. I will remember this spot. Fish are chewing nonstop. All about that size, but lots of fun on this super light spinning rod. Getting it done. You got him? Nice. Oh, good lord. Really? Really? I'm coming, I'm coming. Just be careful. Take your time. Take your time. Oh my gosh. Now that is a Minnesota bass right there. Big baits, big fish. She said, yeah, pike, pike. No, it's a bass. <laughs> Great fish. I was all over here bragging about my three for three. That bass could eat all three of my bass and probably still be hungry. What a day. What a day. Damn. PB must be first one in 20 years. Personal best pike and now a stud bass. Eric is just showing us how it's done right now. I don't know what I'm over here doing, playing with these guppies. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, look how fishy this looks. Look at this. You can't tell me there's not six bass laid up in all this stuff. Yep. Another little guy. On the spinner bait with the Biospawn Exo Swim trailer, I actually kind of messed it up. I cut a bunch of fish on it, so I had to cut the head off it a little shorter, but still getting the job done. A lot of these in here. Boop. Eric is on again. Fat bass, she said. Nice. Man, non stop action today. Dark back, that was a pretty bass. Switch to the black and blue Senko and first toss. Smallest bass of the day. <laughs> Another bass for Erica on the frog. Girl's slaying them right now. Right now? What am I talking about? She's been slaying them all day. <laughs> right where he should have been. Sitting on that lay down. I just saw it. I thought I saw it too late. Apparently not. He like doesn't even know. <laughs> Take off at first, he's not he's not that big. Definitely not as big as yours. Nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Settle down now. 
Easy, buddy. There, it's pike number one of the day for Rob. Not nearly as big as the behemoths Eric has been yanking out, but there it is. Fun little guy. I, I spotted this lay down about 20 feet off the bank, and I, I just told her, like, oh, look at that lay down. It's gotta be a fish on it, and sure enough, I was thinking it was gonna be a bass, but there it was, a little pike hiding out under it. Nice, hit the angler bullseye, mark this guy, and I'm gonna mark that lay down. Non-stop action today. Bye, buddy. All right, grab a little, little brewski to celebrate the first pike of the day for Rob. A couple IPAs, courtesy of Miss Jenna Murphy at Lightning Kayaks, shout out. You to real MVP, shout out to her daughter Alexis, who I just met. She's awesome and a fan of the show. I know she's watching. You're not old enough for beer yet, but one day, one day you'll we'll share a beer. We'll have a beer on the water. I am going to take her fishing next time I'm here. Oh my god. He hit it immediately. I did totally steal your fish. <laughs> it's coming at me. I can't tell how big it is. That is so funny. Erica just had one swipe it or lure near the surface. Mr. Bait side swiped it. Oh, it's pretty decent. And I said, I I'll get it. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, no, no. It's decent. <laughs> and uh, I threw my lure right where it missed hers and it didn't even start reeling yet. It smacked the spinner bait. Ooh. Pike? Yeah. Bigger than my first. Oh. You stole my fish and you can't even get it in the boat. <gasps> That's karma. I was just sitting there watching it. It looked like it was hooked so solid. I wasn't even worried about it. That's what I get for playing with my food. That was wild though. Like he side, sw side swiped yours and I assumed he like took off. No, he, was sitting he was sitting right there because I mean my bait landed right where that swirl was and I didn't even get to crank it. He just smacked and started running with it. That was exciting. Another pike on the line came off. <laughs> so of course I started the camera. That's why. It's all right though. Got him both sides. You leadered it. Counts. <laughs> there it is. On. <laughs> oh, and he spit it right in my face. In my face, he was pretty good. Yeah, he's not, he's not big. But I told you I was gonna pull one off of there. Just one after another. I mean, you look at his lay down, I was just telling her like, there's no way you can't catch a bass on a wacky Senko on a lay down like that. Eric has caught all the big fish, but no shortage of fun for both of us. Killer day out here. Fishing a bunch of water I know nothing about in a state I've never fished. Here we are at the end of the day. Just lost a couple nice pike. Eric is stuck a good bass though, right after. Oh, oh, ho, ho. I thought that was big mama. That's the old. Yeah, it's a tree pounder. Tree pounder. Now I know you watch my videos. <laughs> the old limb brim. All right, well, killer day on the water. Oh, yeah. Like, I had no expectations. I didn't know if we were going to catch a fish and we wore them out. You wore them out. Slayed them. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. We've got our first muskie in 20 years. A nice one at that. On a kayak. On top water. This is like the coolest Plopper, part to plopper. me. <laughs> 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 then she followed that up with a stud pike, her new personal best pike. And then we came here and just wore out the bass. She started it off with a giant. Erica just maybe. had yeah. the hot hand today. She was on fire all day. That was awesome. Awesome to watch. Yep. So Erica is part of... Minnesota Kayak Fishing Association. Kayak Fishing Association, and you can find them where? Facebook, and then they they have a website, but most of everyone is on the Facebook page. On Facebook, so check them out if you're in Minnesota or probably the surrounding area. Check them out, awesome people. We sponsored them with Lightning Kayaks, and we've gotten to know some of the people there, including now Erica here, and just everyone in the, in the club has just been incredible. Such nice people, such a good group. I'll be back probably this fall. We got to go do it again. Yep. I need to get a musky now since she just whacks the floor <laughs> with me all day. But uh, yeah, super cool. I mean, I didn't even know when they told me that she had won the fishing trip with me that she watched the show before then. So awesome to meet you. And oh, yeah. now you're on an episode. It's pretty cool. And uh, I'd say she did herself some justice. She uh, definitely showing the boys how it's done. It's great to meet you. Always, awesome. I always make the boys this jealous. <laughs> this was awesome. This was such a fun day. Yeah. But we're exhausted. It's been a long day. It's was hot. I think we're gonna get out of here. She's talking pizza and tequila. She's got a <laughs> night ahead of her. I'm probably gonna go to bed, I think. I'm worn out. But yeah, 
Yeah. Great time. I mean, if you want to check out more of my adventures, I just started my own Facebook page, Monarch, Monarch Outdoors. Awesome. Monarch Outdoors. I'll put a link down in the description. Go check her out. Give her a follow. She's slaying the fish up here in Minnesota. That is for sure. She proved that today. But yeah, I think that's it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. I'm about to like fall asleep standing up. <laughs> so we'll catch you guys next week. Nice. What a great day. Great, great, great. Like wildly exceeded my even like highest hopes of today. <laughs> I didn't even like consider that the day could have gone like it did. So yeah, you got like the Minnesota slam. I'm, I think that's some kind of slam. That was sick. <laughs>